Hello everyone, good to, good to see you out there. So happy to see you. Uh, my name is Paul Tranny and happy Monday to you. Hopefully this day or evening is finding you well, wherever it may find you. I just appreciate you guys are hanging out with me. We're going to create some uh, graphics on good old Illustrator on the iPad. So uh, we will start out kind of on the desktop. Um, and then quickly move to iPad if that works for you. So I see a array984. Hello from Turkey. Uh, I'm broadcasting from Denver. So uh, let me know where you're from. Hit that like button. Hit that save button. You can always watch this later, by the way. Uh, but it's good to see you here, Laura and Sidheya and everyone. So this is going to be fun. I'm so excited about this. So hopefully you are as well. Um, and uh, regardless of where you're joining me, um, yeah, feel free to say hello, um, and I would love to uh, to hear from you. Just kind of switching things up because I got to make sure I can see chat, um, and I'll actually share my my screen as well in Illustrator. So on the desktop is where we're gonna start. Okay, so right in here, here's Illustrator on the desktop, just so you know, and I want to actually. Uh, get into uh, quickly moving to the iPad, okay? Um, but uh, my process hasn't changed that much going from um, desktop to mobile. It's actually much easier. Good to see you from uh, from Sydney and Roberto from Heidelberg. Brian from, is that Columbia? It should be Columbia flag. David Moon, uh, Carol, awesome. We've got all my friends here, so this is nice. Rhode Island in the house. Nigeria, Mexico, Italy, pretty much everywhere. I want to make this a good day for you. Uh, all I did, by the way, is I just grabbed some images um, actually from Adobe Stock. They happen to be in my library. I've used them before, right? But I'm just, I was just pulling in some images. I'm really into butterflies and <clears throat> skulls and flowers and animals and things. Uh, but I could use these as a reference, by the way. So I can just kind of drag this in, drop it in like so. The thing about going from desktop to iPad is again, this is brand new. This was just released two weeks ago. So uh, there are still some features. Uh, there's not complete feature parity as they would say. Um, one of those is like linked uh, images. So if you do use an image, just make sure you go up here and you click embed, bam, like that. Okay, and then just embed that like so and then that will be available to me within this document. That's how I usually like to work. Hello, Atef from Egypt. Uh, Alex, saludos from Chicago, awesome. Uh, so notice that this is a cloud document. So when you save it, so all my files, when I go from mobile to desktop, it's an AIC, it's an Illustrator cloud document. Okay, so it's gonna be right in here. So let's just refresh. Assets.adobe.com, this is just another place to view it, just so you know, but we could see it right here, animals. So it's kind of behind my head, but that says animals right there, okay? But all these files are available on my iPad. So let me know if you have questions too. Israel's in the house, Mitra, Mitra, Peru, never been to Peru. Uh, Kishi would love to go, awesome. Pakistan, so many places I wanna go. I've only, I was only in Riz Israel for like a, a, like a heart, quick heartbeat was super fast. Um, but let's kind of go ahead and switch over to my iPad if I can get this worked out, shall we? Shall we do it? There we are, here I am on my iPad. So uh, this is Illustrator on the iPad. I'm working on uh, uh, the latest update. So gosh, I can't remember the 13.1. Uh, uh, but it's a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Oh shoot, that I'm working on. That just got unplugged. But uh, we'll dive into that file. So you can see it right there. It says animals. I can go ahead and click on that and uh, open it up. It might take a second because there are big images in there and I just wanna be aware of that. All right, hi. From Columbia, living in Berlin. You should be able to hear me if you cannot. I don't know what to say, sorry about that. Good to see you, Rocky. Uh, oh, I'm glad you like the background. Uh, Ryan, Benoit, I got, Ryan, I got your email and I need to respond. I will respond to you. Cornell, 
Awesome, Biola. This is taking a second. Jeez, it's almost taking too long. I'm gonna click cancel. We're just gonna go with create new poster. Let's start there. We're just gonna do this. I'm gonna look uh, just like on my desktop as a reference. We're gonna create a poster file, clicking okay. And we can jump into sort of like creating that toucan that you saw. So you could use the pen tool. Okay, let's go a little bit larger. Uh, but I personally love using the pencil. So if I click on the pencil right here, I'll usually change the smoothing, which is kind of behind my head. It's right here, right? But I'll start to adjust and it's kind of take that up three quarters of the way is what I typically like. And then I can kind of draw out a potential, let's undo that, a potential uh, bill, if you will. Creates these few points that we see here. I can always go in and uh, sort of like double tap on it. Find this little point, this one's a little odd. I actually don't need it. But with that point selected, right down in the, um, the HUD, the heads up display, or these options that you get, I'm gonna click the X, which is next to the trash can, and it removes that point. If I remove this point, watch, ready? I'm gonna remove it. Um, or this one over here, let me remove this one. You ready for this? I'm gonna remove it. It kept the shape. So notice how as I remove that point, it did not destroy that curve but it adjusts these bezier points so it's nice and neat. So that's all I do. Let's just like make a nice little bill like so. There we have it. And uh, I can kind of move on from there. But we can give it a color. Sure, why not? Let's give it a color. Let's draw more of this. In fact, I'm going to take it. I get the properties for this object off to the side. I can see everything there looks good. We can go into aligning or even flipping. So I could flip the bill this way, right? Because I actually want it kind of pointing the other way. And then I can start to draw out, say, the body, for instance, right? Notice how I can kind of pick up that line. I can pick my mouse, or excuse me, my pe pencil up off of that, right? And then also pick it up and then continue to draw. So it doesn't close that shape if I lift up my pencil. Um, Ooh, Ryan added some new stuff. Okay, so this is what we have. This doesn't look that great. I appreciate somebody, you saying that it looks amazing. It's not quite amazing just yet. We'll remove those uh, lines. We'll adjust the depth as well. And still I need to kind of finish this, but let's adjust the depth because we want the bill to be in front of that shape that I just made. So you can see right in here, as we take a look, we can adjust the stacking order. Okay, so right there in the center. I really feel like making a new scene, but I can just click and drag on that stacking order and it changes the stacking order. So I'm just dragging with my pencil, just so you know. Da, 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 da. Super easy. What's happening is if we look at my layers panel, it put it up. So drag it down, boom, it's below, it's above. You get the idea. I can kind of move on. Let's move on, folks. We're just gonna create a toucan just like you can. Bad joke, and I apologize. Uh, let me know if you have questions. Uh, yo soy de Colombia. You live in Colombia? You're from Colombia, I think is what that means. <laughs> Herbert, what's up, man, from Mexico? Oh, good to see you, man. So I'm still using this, um, this desktop reference. So uh, it's gonna have black on the inside, green on the outside, and then I'll just throw a little highlight right in there really fast. Let's undo that. Well, let's just draw out potentially another circle, zoop, like that. That's gonna be my highlight set to white that I'm gonna move into place and make sure that depth, it is on top, right? So that's usually what you do with an eye. If I hold down the shift key, right, I want this to be constrained. So initially it's not constrained, but you could, if you have a keyboard on your iPad, you can hold down the shift key and adjust accordingly. But also you get this uh, little pop-up off to the side. See this little guy right here? This little guy will constrain its proportions as well. So let's get this back to a circle. I'll hold that down, that sort of on canvas control, shrink that down and make the highlight like so. Okay, let's move on. I need to have, add more to this using the pencil. Maybe kinda like that. Oh yeah, let's connect these lines. And let's just have some fun, folks. Shall we make that orange, make this yellow? Hey, why not? Using those swatches that I have there, right? Uh, taking these two, sending them this one to the back 
and this one to the back, like so. We're kind of working on this. Okay, you ready for this, Michelle? Good to see you. Saparillo, what's up? Uh, Avinash is from Earth. So am I. Oh, what a coincidence. This is cool. Okay, so this bill is not that exciting. In fact, I need to do... I could probably do the bill underneath as well, but let me show you this. Check this out. This is going to be awesome. You could take any panel and pull it off. So now I have this panel floating around. Uh, but what I can also do is I can go to gradients right there. So now I can give this a nice gradient, right? So we'll go linear gradient, right? It does the obvious, right? Radial gradient, we know what that does. This is what I want to do. Uh, can you move an element to the very top of the screen on iPad? Uh, yes, you can. Yeah, you can. There's no reason you can't. In fact, if you zoom out, just to show you, this is my artboard, right? So I can, just like a lot of you guys, I do this all the time, is I'll be creating a bunch of logos and I'll have all these elements around. You could have that stuff placed elsewhere. Or you could have different experiments, by the way. I'll take this. You know, let's go ahead and duplicate it. Let's move it off. I might have sort of two different bills that I can work on because that's what I want to do. I want to show you like a, uh, a linear uh, radial. And then not only that, I want to get into this one right here. I want to make this one a boom right there. You have um, free form gradients here and I love this. So I have this little dot, right? Let's make that yellow. Let's make this one clear on the end. That one's gonna be red, like so. We're gonna put uh, another one right here and we're gonna make that one uh, green, like so. It's a little electric, so we'll kind of take that down a little bit. And uh, even underneath, maybe we'll add an orange, right? So we're getting lots of interesting color combos uh, using this method. Let's add another color, like so. I'm just kind of working on this blend, but look at that. Isn't that fun? Like, right? To kind of have this really fun um, bill. And now I'm adjusting. If you could see that, I'm adjusting the strength of it. So as I drag that line out, it's going to make it more strong uh, in on the end there, because that's what I want. I want to give it kind of more of a, a, a line like that uh, is the idea. Okay, so we'll just go with that from here. What's up, Roy from Albuquerque? You could do so much with shading when it comes to this as well, which is really cool. Um, let's continue to work on this though. All right, cool. Let's go in here. Bah, bah, bah. Let's take this, maybe drag this. This point out, this one down. Again, just kind of playing with this a little bit. I usually have a reference on my screen but uh, in this case, we're just going to modify these points. And when it comes to modifying points, uh, you love the gradients. Good. Awesome. Good to see you from Bangladesh. Awesome. Uh, so the one I'm using right now is Illustrator on the iPad. Let me switch over make sure everything's good. All right. So I'm moving these points around, moving this one up here. If I want to make this uh, sort of like a sharp corner because it is, uh, I want to get rid of the bezier points, you could just go ahead and double tap on it. And now all of a sudden it's sharp. Double tap again, and now we have it curved. So we could start to do that, right? We could add points just by selecting the pen tool. Bam, you know, it's going to work as expected if you ask me, right? Use your direct selection tool, get that into place. Let's just make this even more drastic. You know, its tail should be like, should really flare out, by the way. Let's give this bird some style, right? It should be like that. Kind of like that. I don't know. This one I want to be curved as well. Double tap. Boom, there it is. Adjust those points accordingly. You get the idea. And this is typically my life when it comes to creating. Right, this might not be perfect uh, at the initial get-go. I would love to add a little color on the end of there, but uh, we'll do that in a second. Like that. Same thing for this point. Notice how, uh, yeah, the gradient mesh is super awesome. Yeah, I think that's so cool. So let's take this, let's move it down a little bit. What I want to do is I want to make this a little bit softer 
at the end of the beak or at the end of the bill, right? So you see that control point right there, and I really wish I could zoom in on this, but that control point right there in the end, I can go ahead and grab that and just go ahead and uh, bring it in some. Let me undo that just so you can see what's happening. Move that in a little bit, double tap. I'm now inside of it, selecting just that point, by the way, and then just taking the edge off. I actually could do that with multiple points. So I could select these two points and then curve them out, which is what I'm doing right now. Zoop. Just making it nice and soft like that, okay? Here, what I do, I would probably add multiple gradients to it. Uh, oh yeah, thank you. Oh, what a great idea. Thank you so much for that, uh, Steve. This beak should be huge. <laughs> Plus it's a it's supposed to be an icon, so it's like you could play with this side, size sort of all we want. Uh, there's usually more that goes into the beak as well, because there's usually gonna be a line in it. So I could always do that. I could show you also some things that we're kind of working on too. Because technically there would be a line. Let's make it a black line. If I wanted to add more detail, there would be kind of a line right down here, curving around and kind of like underneath. And this would vary in thickness. We currently don't have a variable width stroke uh, on the iPad, which is something I really want. But what's nice is I could always sync that to Illustrator on my desktop, and that's where I'm gonna make those adjustments. So here, all I'm gonna do is open up my different properties, drag out that line like so, maybe round the ends if I want to, um, uh, to get that right, and uh, I can work on that, that later. Maybe I don't even wanna do that. Maybe I wanna flip it and then continue to draw. I could do that as well connect it like so. All right, you get the idea. Those are extra little details that we kind of don't really need um, that I'm, I'm kind of getting too in the weeds about because when it comes to icons, you need to really deduce this down to its like most basic form, right? So I'm already adding too much. But what I am gonna add is make sure I have some nice gradients since I think that works pretty well for this particular bird. Take that down like that. Okay, so we got that nice and flowing. Let's curve this out some too. There we go. How is everyone doing? Uh, cool, thank you so much. Funny and cute. Right, so we're doing a little bit of this. It's gonna have some legs, so we'll do that really fast. I think it actually could use some, definitely some more adjustments. This line is really bothering me, to be honest with you, uh, but I'm just gonna have to work on it later when I get on the desktop, right? So again, just trying to get us the quickest way to awesome as fast as possible, right? So let's do, uh, thank you, Alex. So this is nice, since this is, uh, I was talking about lines, we could use this line work still, right? Just grabbing either the pencil or the pen, right? We have plenty of control when it comes to the pen. I'm gonna make a solid line. Uh, in this case, we will do, we'll do just something like this, bam, bam. Yeah, I guess that's all I kinda need to do there and increase the thickness like so. Actually, I'm gonna take that back. For some reason, I always end up coming back to the pencil tool. Because I love the simplicity of the lines that it makes, right? So we could do something kind of like that. Those are supposed to be kind of like spread out. And then we will make sure we have the feet. Still doing it the same way as you. It's gonna be over a branch, so that's all we'll do. These will typically be a different color, like a steel blue, like gray. Maybe, is kind of what I'm thinking, All right? Like that. Let me know if you have questions. Oh yeah, I just like, I like birds. Birds are just happy and they're always singing. They're like, yeah, we're having fun up here, everybody. You know why? Because we could fly, right? Again, pen tool, bam, at that point. Let's move on right in here like that. Yeah, they're like, yeah, we're having a blast, man. We could fly. This is awesome. 
I don't know, I assume that's what birds are thinking. Uh, if you're joining me for the first time, I'd love to say hi. Uh, yeah, it's so much fun, by the way. Like, this makes my life so easy. Still need to tighten up a lot of this, to be honest with you. But that's what you do, is you draw a little bit. You want to, cl your cleanup, you want to be as simple as possible. This seems kind of like it has a lot of points. I could clean that up on the desktop, but also make sure when you're drawing, you're just like simplifying or smoothing out that line. So the further you have this cranked up, the simpler lines you will have and are simpler points, right? So undo that, take that, bring that in, kind of like that. The whole thing could be a little bit smaller actually, but you get the idea. Looks like he's strutting, huh? So this one actually needs to be flipped the other direction. Take that, and thanks so much for joining me. I'm gonna, I'm not going through all the features, but again, like I said, I'm just kind of drawing creating some icons and getting something done as fast as possible. Hopefully everybody's doing well on this fine Monday. Double tap, get rid of those points. Do something kind of like that is what I'm going for. Bam, 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 bam. All right. If this one really is supposed to be in the front, it needs to be like a little bit bigger, right? And the other one will be smaller by comparison is the idea. Adding another point right in here. Uh, how you guys doing? Looking like birds walking with pride. It is, huh? It's like, hey, he is, he's got a strut. He's got a strut about him, doesn't he? Or she. All right, there we go. We'll just do something like that. Oh, this is the problem. It's this little part. This needs to be behind everything else. So this is going to change its pose entirely. Again, stacking order through that heads-up display, dragging that back like that, and now this is definitely like behind. Now it has more of that pride sort of stand, as you can see, and looks pretty good. I'm going to move that line over and just see if it looks better without it. Yeah, it kind of works. Sure, why not? Okay, there we go. Um... All right, let's work on this some more. What else can we add to it? Maybe it's done, maybe it's about there. Let's rotate this like so. There we go. That, that, that works. It needs chicken legs, maybe smaller legs. That would be cute, right? We wanna exaggerate all the fun features, which is thank, thank you, Steve, for making his, his beak bigger. But let's go ahead and get this on the desktop. So right in here, let's draw out that branch. Okay, so we're just gonna quickly draw. That's gonna be a line, by the way. Crank it up in size, right? Send it to the back. I can also put that on an entirely different layer because that's usually how it works. Like I think subject matter, we have one subject, which is the bird, it's gonna be on one layer. Another subject, which is the branches, typically are always gonna be behind. They'll be on a separate layer. So that's what I would do here. Go up here to these scissors and you can cut it close up those layers, add a new layer by clicking that plus sign, dragging that underneath. And then for layer two, by the way, let's just hit edit. We'll call this uh, background like that. And then right in here, let's go ahead and paste on that layer. Where did it, I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't know why I didn't paste it. No, no big deal, it was just this line right here. So we'll draw that, we'll have a branch coming out that way, and we'll have some fun uh, working on this. Some more on the desktop is the idea. Okay, so that's all I'm working with. You guys get the idea. I think we had a lot of fun with the beak. Um, it's just Untitled 48, if you could see. That's what the title of this is. Uh, some things I didn't get into uh, are the repeat tools. I really didn't need it here, but... Uh, I could easily add a whole background if I wanted to of uh, pretty much anything that I wanted to. Um, let's say we wanted to give them some feathers. You ready for this? I'm going to show you this really fast. Let's do this. Let's do this dance. Hey, let's add a feather right there. Let's go into repeat. We're going to make this a radial repeat. So I'm selecting radial. There we are. Here's my radial repeat of those feathers. So from there, guess what? I can drag up 
and have multiple feathers if I want to, kind of like that. We'll move it right over here. We'll make it a little bit larger, right? We'll even make, actually we'll make the everything. There we go, make this larger, giving it more feathers like that. And then we can also um, cut it off. So it's only gonna have feathers on the top portion and do something kind of like that. Okay, so that's just a quick example of using the uh, radio repeat in this particular scenario. I'd probably do the same thing, you know, duplicating that. Let's move that up here and have some fun with giving him a cool, or her a cool, like, cool feathers on the top of its head, kind of like that is what I'm thinking. How does that work, everybody? There we go. There we go, kind of like that. Yeah, why not? Totally changes the attitude. Kind of looks like it has like a cool mohawk or something. All right. Uh, they are the icon bird of Guinness beer. Wow, that was that's funny. That's interesting. Let's take this up. Make that a little bit more intense as well. Just for fun. I don't know, you get the idea. Okay, done. That's good enough for now. Just hitting that back arrow. It's been saved in the background the whole time, right? So there it is, Untitled 48. Guess what, I can rename it to Toucan with a bunch of ends, because I already might, uh, I've, I've made two cans before, but you can see a number of files that I've already made. Here's another version that I was working on, by the way. So let's select it. I'll open this up just to kind of give you an idea. This is more of an icon. Ah, oh, it's not quite opening. Let's try this one. These are older versions made in previous like betas, but you could see those there and another of other animals. Okay, what was I doing? I was just stalling, giving me a chance to Go to Illustrator on my desktop and show it to you there. So let's switch over. Here I am on my desktop. Uh, cool. So this works on PC as well. Just because I'm using a Mac, it's totally fine. As long as you have Illustrator. Illustrator for the iPad, of course but also I could sync this to my PC uh, Illustrator. And right down there, there's my Toucan AIC. Click that, it will go ahead and download it. Um, and then it says this, and I'm, this is why I did this as well, just so you guys are aware of it. Uh, the repeaters, the radial repeat is not quite supported on uh, desktop, but it will still give you the graphic. It's just gonna go ahead and group it and kind of break it apart. So just kind of be aware of that. But here it is, comes in just fine our cool bird and uh, sure enough we can go ahead and edit it really fast in fact what needs the most help are these branches right let's select a branch let's give it a different uh, profile width because that's the big thing that I think it's missing I can't wait for sort of like width profiles and how those work uh, as well um, object path reverse path direction boom take it up Right, let's give it kind of a thick branch. You guys get the idea, right? And uh, again, the focus was Illustrator on the iPad and not so much this, but hopefully you guys get the idea. <laughs> clean it up, Paul, clean it up. I'm gonna be wrapping up everyone. So if you have any sort of final questions or anything, would love to answering them, loving it. I don't... Okay, it's just... All right, cool, just reading comments. Cool. Uh... Yeah, so Ernest, hopefully you got that. Um, when it comes to that patterns on a circle, you could totally do the patterns any way you want. Um, that was a radial repeat grid. So that's what it does. It does it along um, a circle and then there's a pattern repeat and then there's a mirror repeat, which is like a mirror image, right? But here we have kind of our punk rock um, toucan. Notice this is my radial repeat that I was using earlier. Double clicking on it, you could see it just kind of outlined everything. So you can't use a radial repeat on desktop because it's not there yet. 
but I can go in and kind of tweak this accordingly. If I want to kind of change the angles of these and adjust them independently, I can do that. You guys get the idea. Okay, cool. There's my uh, little toucan. Shift F. I didn't even get into new features on desktop, but hopefully that gives you an idea of what you can do, at least on iPad. Just something kind of fun today. And uh, yeah, you guys get the idea. Can't wait for width profile, exactly. Uh, Android version is not available yet. I'm like, we're working on one platform at a time. I hope you understand. Uh, yes, thank you for changing your notifications. Add your notifications. I'm gonna try to go live at a regular basis and I'm totally open to your suggestions because I wanna make this valuable for you, right? So let me know what you wanna see and I would love to show you uh, anything you need. So that's the goal. Thank you so much, everybody. You guys have a wonderful day. Uh, I will go ahead and show all my social medias at the end, so feel free to get in touch with me through the, all the social medias, right? I might post this later to Instagram. We will see. Thanks so much. Everybody.